Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's getting colder and colder here in Melbourne and soon we're going to head into a pretty dark and depressing and very long winter. It gets really dark in the house, really dark, really cold and when the four of us are just together in the same space, it can get a bit, you know, a bit overwhelming. Um, and seasonal depression is a big thing here. It really affects me, I've noticed. And I think it affects all of us, even the dogs. So, this is the front deck of the house. It's around, I'd say, 3 meters by maybe 15 meters. So it's quite sizable and honestly, it's probably our favorite thing about this rental here. And even though it gets really dark and cold inside the house, it's quite nice out here, even during winter. Um, so yeah, we love this space. We, we have barbecues out here. We come out here and have drinks during uh, a sunny day. And sometimes we let the dogs roam around. Taco basically lives here. He's turned it into his presidential suite. Um, but we've sort of just let it go over the past few months. And I think that it's time for a little bit of a clean and a little bit of an update. I'm not exactly sure what I have planned for this space just yet, but I'm just thinking it's a pretty sizable space. Um, if we can turn it into like a second living space and hopefully it can be another space for us in this house that can spark joy during winter and hopefully help us battle that seasonal depression. But before we get into that, it's one of those rare days when Vicky decides to work from home. So I'm gonna cook up some breakfast. She says she wants something savory, so I'm thinking like a sausage and egg muffin, and we'll make some coffees. Alright, so I've moved all the plants out here. I'm going to show you guys something. Which is pretty crazy. I don't know what these ones are called, actually. Huh? But whatever this is. Uh, this was just a cutting. These two were just cuttings. Um, from a bigger plant. Which I think died. Um, but they've just gone crazy. We've just left them on the tables. And neglected them. And you know what? Look at this. It's like... The plants have like grown these roots, right? And look how long this one is. That's just so crazy. And then also this one, this plant grew a root, which came out and then snuck its way into this one. So these two are like joined together. Um, but yeah, very overgrown. This is our fig. Our fiddle fig, huh? I think it's what's called. Um, definitely needs a bit of love. Probably need a stake it so it goes um, straight up. 
We've got a... I don't know what this one's called, but I'm huh? pretty happy. I think this is a money tree. Or a happy plant, huh? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not very good with the names. But, I know this is a rubber plant. Which has gone crazy. But, yeah, they all need a little bit of love. Um, so I'm actually quite proud of these ones. These ones are pothos, which is like a creeping ivy. So all of this started off as one plant. And each year I cut off, each year I cut off um, a part of the plant and then I soak them in water and I plant them into different pots. And now I've got like four really nice and luscious plants. I really like them. Whenever I look at these, they make me happy. I think the mother plant is actually this one. So that's the oldest one. Um, this one is by far the healthiest one. Oh, actually it's, it's looking pretty dry. It's not looking very happy, so I need to water it. Um, but yeah, these are all the plants. So, I think the issue with this deck is that there's just way too much furniture um, here. So I'm just going to move everything off the deck, completely strip it, and then that way we can clean the deck and then see what we want to bring back in. Alright, so everything's on the driveway now. Looks a bit like I've got a yard sale going on. It's a lot of furniture, isn't it? There's so many things that I didn't even realize I have. So like this uh, automatic feeder for taco, I think, which we don't use anymore. Um, empty litter box. This thing, which is broken. A badminton racket, <laughs> a seatbelt. <laughs> so, alright, um, I guess the next step is to throw away everything that we don't need and then we can get to sweeping and washing. So when we first moved into this house, probably like six years ago, we bought this IKEA TV unit and it came with one of these melamine doors <laughs> and we didn't need to use it, but I've been holding on to it for six years with, uh, with no real purpose, but I just can't bring myself to throw it away. I have a feeling that somehow in the near future, I'm going to have to use this for something. So, <laughs> I can't throw it away, I'm going to keep it.
like I'm doing a lot of double handling. I need to move all the plants back up there so I have space to clean the furniture. But while I'm at it, I'm just going to start pruning and wiping the leaves of the plants uh, so I don't have to do it up there. All right, let's go. I'm actually not sure what to do with this one. It's just so overgrown. I mean, I guess I could sort of hang it off an edge. That's kind of cool. I've seen like um, plants that grow on these, like you basically grow them off walls. I forget what they're called, but Maybe something like that on that wall. We can have some of those um, plants on the wall. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but it's, yeah, it's just crazy. We're definitely gonna have to like cut it up or prune it. I'll, I'll deal with that later though. So when I was cleaning these plants, I had a profound thought. I actually caught myself thinking really negatively. This is taking forever. These plants are so dirty. What is the point of all of this? And then I realized I was frustrated and that I didn't feel good. And then I realized that I didn't feel good about myself. So I had to check myself. I thought about how lucky I was to be able to spend the day outdoors in the sunshine, working with plants, creating a nice outdoor space that I know I will be able to enjoy. I thought about that even though I was in a season where I'm not working much and I'm uncertain about my career and my future, that I actually had it pretty good and that I was able to contribute in other ways. And then I thought about how the only pressure that I'm feeling to be more is the pressure that I'm putting on myself. And that made me feel really thankful. Now, this part may sound weird, but I thought of myself as the plants. They were neglected and they needed to be fed and watered. So of course they would be in a sorry state. And just like how I have people who care for me and choose to see the best in me, I too should do the same for these plants. And the funny thing is, as soon as I shifted my mindset, I started to enjoy this work. And before I knew it, I had cleaned and pruned every plant. And I've also cleaned all the furniture. I honestly did not expect to have such a profound thought while renovating the deck. But I guess renovating is also a form of self-care. And you know what? I'm glad that I was able to shift my perspective. Oh, all right. Seating, cooking, open. Let's do it. guys I think I'm done for now uh, this is at the very least stage one or version one of the deck reno so let me give you a quick tour so come up from the stairs and this is stage one or area one which is nice and open ignore that um, that needs to be sorted and thrown out um, these are the cushions for the seating at the end. Uh, we don't really use them because they get a bit gross out here. So I'm probably going to throw these or keep them at the back. I have kept one underneath here though because uh, Taco likes to sleep underneath this, uh, this chair. But this is just nice and open. Um, we used to have a whole bunch of plants here and then a bench here with um, stuff underneath and it was just really cluttered. So uh, I like having this nice and open because obviously we go 
back and um, forth quite often so this is it's nice to just keep it blank um, so this will be a nice space to just come out here and have a coffee sit down uh, there's a stool here that you can put your coffee table or a plate um, but yeah this is just area one so nice and open nothing much to see here now we've got all of our plants I put most of our plants along here and then all the seating along here um, honestly when I first thought about the layout I was going to put the plants along this side and then the seats along here but I think I ended up doing this because most of our plants are meant to be indoor plants anyway so if they're too close to the sun and if they or if they get too much water then they'll all die so we'll keep it as is and also sorry we're just sort of skipping ahead what I like about having the seat along this edge is that it sort of blocks off the view to the garden which you might think that's not a good thing but when you have dogs that bark at anyone that walks past this is actually quite good because we can hang out here the dogs can just sort of chill out here and they're less less likely to see people walking past um, and the view is still nice and open anyways back to area number two um, honestly the layout isn't that different the table stays there um, and I'm just using it to hold our plants for for now um, I didn't really know what to do with this guy Honestly, it was a bit crazy, so I just staked him up, um, but this whole thing was just sort of coming down, um, and I, I probably need to chop off this root, but um, we'll probably cut this up and turn it into a few smaller plants. Uh, on this side, we've got the barbecue, just right in the middle. Um, and then to one side we've got a table which is really handy when you're barbecuing to have bench space So we could potentially use this and also that table once we clean it up for food um, And then seating area nice and open Quite inviting I think um, And yeah, just having a few plants here and there I like having that rubber plant in the uh, corner. We might put it in another pot and I might stake it better so that it's going straight up. Um, the cushions for the seats are just hidden behind here. Just like that. And I think the downside to having seats along this edge is that when it rains, obviously the seats are going to get wet. So I think what we'll do is we'll just come up with a system to put away the cushions when we're not using them and that way they won't get uh, dusty and gross. But, yeah, I like it. This is a view from here, just sitting down. I love how overgrown it looks. And I actually didn't intend this, but like you have nature on this end and then nature on this end, obviously. It's quite nice. Um, so yeah. Rubber plant. This is my favorite pothos. It's a, a healthy boy. This one, <laughs> I got this one from my sister actually. Um, and ever since getting it, it's been through trials and tribulations. I'm actually not sure if it's alive or dead, <laughs> but I like him because he's got character. But yeah, the good thing about this deck and this layout is that everything's really light and you can just move things around. So this is definitely version one um, of the space. I was talking to Vicky before about potentially getting some hanging plants along here. I think that'll look really nice. So then you sort of it will end up looking like a jungle. Or we might put some hooks up here and hang some uh, plants or lights. I think that'll look really nice. Um, and yeah, these two seats we're not using. And honestly, this armchair might not be used that often. It's more, it's Taco uses this more than us. It's just because the cushions get really gross and moldy. Um, but these two, we'll probably put them in the back. Uh, but yeah, that is what I've got so far. It's been a long day, um, but I'm really happy with this result. It's, uh, it makes me want to hang out here. 
so I'm excited for it. I'm excited to be, I, I really enjoyed being out here rather than being inside, um, especially on this really lovely sunny day. So yeah, that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll probably do a part two for this deck. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you want to see that one. And um, I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think of this space. Please let me know in the comments below. Alright, see you guys. Peace.